TVC News correspondent Ayodele Ozubako is standing by at the Central Bank of Nigeria branch in Katsina to give up an update on the dispatch of sensitive materials by INEC. Thanks, Ayo. We just got that report from our correspondent Femi Akonde in Adamawa State. What is happening in Katsina with the movement of, of those materials? We got you. This is like the final phase of this exercise, and um, you have the sensitive materials across the 34 local government earlier distributed. This is what this is what we call the um, the sensitive material. Earlier, the non-sensitive materials have been distributed, but the sensitive materials, because of the nature of these materials, we had to come to the Central Bank of Nigeria, and is actually heavily guarded. And this material you are seeing here, one is scripted Independent National Electoral Commission result sheet, 2019 presidential election, and. This particular form is the form they call Form EC8A, Form EC8A, just for Castina State here, not West. And it's very interesting to tell you that we have over 3.1 million registered voters in Castina State. That represents 98% of turnover in terms of PVC collection, 98% turnover. That should be the highest in the country right now because as I'm talking to you, we just have 65,000 PVCs uncollected and it's going to be brought here from the Independent National Electoral Commission. It's going to be brought to the Central Bank of Nigeria here. So for these sensitive materials, they are going to be distributed across the 34 local governments and the vehicles that are going to take them across the 34 local governments, they are already tracked by the Independent National Electoral Commission. And the wreck was seen there earlier. He has been looking at the trackers. He has been monitoring the distribution of the sensitive material. Now I have here the resident electoral commissioner. What's it? <laughs> nice to have you. Yeah, thank you. My name is Jibrin Brian Talia. Okay. This process, yeah. do we have enough to go around 34 local government tomorrow? We have the entire sensitive materials that are required for this election, for the three elections taking place tomorrow. All of them are here. So you have the National Assembly election too? The, pres right. the presidential uh, and the national, two National Assembly elections, yes. They are we are ready for that. Talking in terms of logistics, yeah. now we still have some of these materials here yet. Yeah. What's the likelihood that it's going to get there on time so that by 8 a.m., the time, um, the time a mark for voting tomorrow that we are going to have all these materials in all the polling units. We have sorted out all the materials all for two elections. We are on the third one. And when we start taking, the entire thing will not take us more than an hour. Because okay. we have sorted local government by local government. Okay. All the materials that are required in terms of Senate election, in terms of House of Rust election, that of the presidential election is taking place right now. Immediately we feel we now sort out the, the rice sheets, then we put them on the vehicles within an hour because they are, we are doing them on the basis of the local governments and the four local governments. Are you satisfied with the security arrangements made so far for, for the protection of your personnel? Fantastic. The state police command and other security agencies have been up and doing in that and respect that. And we are doing it in the premises of the central bank. And the central bank, you know, has tight security in respect of uh, the activities that it conducts. So we don't have any problem with that. If you look around, you can see we are really comfortable with that security at this place. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. We Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Ugochi, I can also report, I can also tell you that when it comes to the northwest part of Nigeria, you have over 20 million registered voters representing at about 24% of the total number of registered voters in Nigeria. 20 million from the 84 million registered voters we have in Nigeria. The states like Katsina, Kano, Sokoto, Kebi, Jigawa, and Zamfara account for 24% of it. So if the president of, if there's going to be any zone that will decide who will become the president of Nigeria tomorrow, this northwestern region will play a very, very big, huge role in deciding who becomes the next president of Nigeria, Ogochi. Absolutely huge numbers there. 31, 31, 3.1 million voters registered, 3.2 registered, and 3.1 voters, 27,000 ad hoc staff, and 7,000 smart card readers. Huge numbers there. Ayo, keep an eye on what's happening. We'll have you back for more. Thank you, Gochi.